How to install a Sanctuary two-panel Ultimate Security Patio Screen Door featuring the MeshTech Advanced Screen System. Installation of this product is above average in difficulty. Professional installation is recommended. If you're experiencing difficulty with your installation and require assistance, please contact us before returning the product. Customer service and technical support are available at 1-877-366-7002 or support at sanctuary.store Monday through Friday from 6.30 a.m. through 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. First, examine your entryway. Patio security screen door requires a minimum of one and one half inch mounting surface above, below, and on both sides of your main patio door. If you don't have a usable one and a half inch mounting surface, you will need to build your opening out to create one. If required, plan your build out accordingly and purchase the necessary materials. To proceed with the build out, remove any potential obstructions. Here's an example of what a potential build out may look like. If required, be sure to install the bottom of the build-out first, making certain that the bottom track will be flush with the overall mounting surface and low enough not to cause a trip hazard. Next, identify the active panel of your main patio door. This is the door that slides open and closed. Patio security screen door's active panel will be installed on the same side. Using a knife, carefully open the box, making sure not to cut the product inside while remembering not to discard any of the packaging materials until you have successfully completed the installation. Be sure to read all the way through the enclosed instructions before beginning the installation. Remove the top and bottom tracks and both side tracks and set aside. Remove the hardware boxes and set aside. Review and familiarize yourself with all the parts, hardware, and fasteners as listed in the installation instructions. Place all four frames, exterior side facing up, on a moving blanket or cardboard, making sure the bottom track, which can be identified by the weep holes, as shown, will be installed at the bottom. Insert the corner connectors, which are already installed into the side jams, with the top and bottom framing members. Using the screws provided, attach all four frames except the top inactive side corner. Remember, the exterior face of the door is up and will be rotated to face away from the house when the frame is installed. Therefore, the active side of the patio door frame is currently opposite the active side of the main patio door. Stand the frame up and rotate it so the exterior face is facing out and place it in position against the mounting surface. To avoid thumb turn interference issues, make sure that the active side of the frame is flush with the inside edge of the mounting surface. Prop the bottom of the frame up as needed to bring it level with the main patio door opening. Check and adjust the frame for level and plumb using shims as needed. Once you have verified that the frame is level, attach the frame to the opening using the temporary mounting screws provided through the mounting holes in each side jam in the bottom track. Measure from the point on your main patio door handle that protrudes the farthest towards the security door frame to the inside edge of the frame. If this measurement is less than one quarter of an inch, you have a handle interference issue. If this is an issue, you may either remove the security door frame and build your mounting surface out further, or you may install the active panel in the outermost track. If you choose the latter, you must install the interlock channel to each door in the opposite direction from what this video demonstrates, and then the active door must be installed first, then the inactive door. Now, install the interlock channel into the active door through the pre-drilled mounting holes using the screws provided. The interlock on the active door should be facing outward. Next, install the snap cover over the interlock channel screws you just fastened. Set one end of the snap cover in the receiver channel and tap the other side into place using a rubber mallet and a wood block. Raise the top bar enough that you'll be able to install the active sliding door panel. Make sure the active sliding panel is on the active side of the opening and the inactive panel is on the inactive side of the entryway. Also note that the wheel adjustment screws should be facing outward. Install the active door in the inside track. As noted previously, the hook on the interlock channel should be facing away from the house. Install the bottom of the panel into the tr inside track first, then raise the top frame of the inactive corner to fit the top of the door into the inside track. Slide the active door closed so you have room to install the inactive side door panel. Install the handle hardware on the inactive door panel. Start on the interior of the panel. Insert the spindle and mounting screws to the mortise gear. Align the other handle on the exterior of the door and drive the mounting screws, leaving them loose one or two turns. 
Insert the double deadbolt inactive lock cylinder from the inside of the door through the handle as shown. Insert and tighten the retainer screws on the edge of the door panel until snug. Do not over tighten. Lastly, tighten the two handle mounting screws until snug. Using the screws provided, secure the interlock channel into the inactive door. Make sure the interlock channel lip is on the inside. Next, install the snap cover over the interlock attaching screws you just fastened. Set one end of the snap cover into the receiver channel and tap the other into place using a rubber mallet and a wood block. Slide the active door closed and install the inactive door by first installing the bottom of the panel into the outside track, then lifting up on the loose corner of the top frame and install the top of the door panel. Install a temporary mounting screw in the top track in the passive side jam. Test the slide of both doors, adjusting the bottom wheels up or down for the smoothest operation as shown. If the slide remains tight, recheck the plumb of the inside frames and shims as needed. Note that a sliding security door will have more resistance than a standard sliding screen door. Attach the final corner using the screws provided. Install the adjustment screw caps over the wheel adjustment holes at the top and bottom of both doors. Install the handle hardware on the active door panel. Start on the interior of the door panel. Insert the spindle and mounting screws to the Morris gear. Align the other handle on the exterior of the door and drive the mounting screws, leaving them loose one or two turns. Insert the single deadbolt active lock door cylinder from the inside of the door through the handle as shown. Insert and tighten the retainer screws in the edge of the door panel until snug. Do not over tighten. Tighten the two handle mounting screws until snug. Use the thumb turn to engage the three point locking mechanism so the throws are deployed from the edge of the door panel. Note that the shorter latch keeper is used in the center of the door with the two longer ones used on the top and bottom. Place the latch keepers into the latch holes on the active door edge with the two sided tape facing away from the door panel and use the thumb turn to engage the three point locking system. Deploying the locking system will keep the latch keepers in place. Carefully remove the two sided tape backing from all three keepers. Slide the door closed and push the door firmly into the side jam to stick the latch keepers in place. Use the thumb turn to unlock the door and then slowly slide it open. Press on each latch keeper to ensure it is securely adhered to the jam. Using a 3 seconds inch drill bit, pre-drill through the mounting holes in each latch keeper and permanently install them using the screws provided. Install all the permanent mounting screws provided through the mounting holes in the frame. When driving the permanent screws, be careful to drive them straight and level to avoid mounting or racking the frame. Check the level and plumb as you go using shims at each mounting screw as necessary. Remove the existing screws on the inactive side and replace with the door stoppers with the screws provided. The active side door should now gently bump against the stops. Set the snap cover into the channel leading with the outside edge and tap the inside edge into place using a mallet and wood block. And that's all there is to installing a two-panel ultimate security patio screen door featuring the MeshTech Advanced Screen System from Sanctuary.